if you use 3D printers, this right here, PLA, is probably very near and dear to your heart because it is such a popular filament. However, it compromises in its structural integrity. So today I'm going to be seeing if this filament right here, which is infused with carbon fiber, but still PLA, offers the same ease of use, but, off, but makes prints stronger because of the carbon fiber shreds that are infused in the filament. Right off the bat from looking at this I can see it looks and it feels different and it's also more brittle than normal PLA so I'll see if that has an effect on the Benchy Boat I print. Mainly any filament with an additive like this one being infused with carbon fiber is going to be abrasive to your brass nozzle which comes stock on most printers. So I would strongly advise you switch your nozzle to a hardened steel nozzle and this fights abrasive wear and tear so that it lasts longer and doesn't mess up your printer. So I got the filament loaded up and I hit print on a benchy boat which is pretty much my standard benchmark test print for any filament or new mod I do on my printer. From what I've seen, this filament definitely prints exactly like normal PLA. I print at a weird temperature, which is 217. I don't know why I chose this temperature, but it's been working for me the whole time I've had a 3D printer. So I just stuck with that, And but it prints and sticks to the bed normal, and it looked like a really nice boat when it came off the bed. Now I have some bad news to tell you. This print did not go as planned, and as soon as I got it off the bed, I accidentally dropped it on the floor, and the print broke. So already I can tell this isn't as strong as normal PLA, which is not what we were going for. So I would advise if you want structural integrity in your parts, buy a filament that is stronger and can withhold the wear and tear of whatever you're going to be using for it for and as you can see it snapped right in half here and i wasn't really expecting that to happen i printed with 50 percent infill and it just broke right in half and as you can see the smokestack just breaks right off with ease and that is not what you want in a part that needs to be strong so i would not advise using this if you want a part that's going to be strong and hold up through wear and tear of using. Thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more videos on printing and other things related to engineering. This is TPU filament which I'll be testing in the future and uh, it's a flexible filament so I'll be seeing what its capabilities are. Also I am going to be upgrading my printer with this Creality Spider hot end. It's a bi has a bimetal heat break and I'm just gonna be seeing it's, it claims to be able to print at 250 millimeters per second. So I'll be seeing if that claim holds up. Stay tuned for more videos and have a great day.